So scientists just brought back dire wolves from extinction. This is Romulus and Remus, two pups born in 2024. And according to the company behind them, this is the first dire wolf howl to be heard in over 10,000 years. The internet kind of lost its mind when Time Magazine dropped this story yesterday and it makes sense. Just look at them. They're adorable. And weirdly, they do look a lot like ghosts from Game of Thrones. Uh, run to the litter. That one's yours, Snow. Coincidence or marketing genius? But anyways, what exactly is a dire wolf? They're a species of wolf that went extinct 10,000 years ago. They have found numerous examples of their remains all across North America, even in parts of South America as well. They lived during the Pleistocene era, basically the Ice Age. And they were big, powerful predators. They hunted ancient bison, horses, giant sloths, even mastodon. Contrary to popular belief, dire wolves weren't dramatically larger than grey wolves, but they were still the largest known species of canine to ever walk the earth. On average, dire wolves weighed between 130 to 150 pounds and stood about 2.5 feet tall at the shoulder. In comparison, modern grey wolves typically weigh around 80 to 100 pounds and stand roughly the same height as dire wolves did, although dire wolves were much more heavily built and muscular. The main difference is dire wolves' teeth are much larger and sharper and designed to shred and tear flesh because they specialized in hunting megafauna, larger prey. And that's part of the reason why they went extinct because when all this megafauna in North America, all these large animals started going extinct after the Ice Age, the dire wolf too went extinct because that's what it specialized in hunting. And the gray wolves remained because they were more of a generalist and they could adapt to hunt smaller prey as well. And some scientists theorize that ancient humans may have also come into contact with dire wolves at some point because humans were in North America as far back as 13,000 years ago and dire wolves went extinct 10,000 years ago. So there was a period of overlap between them now back to the puppies. Colossal Biosciences, the company behind this project, is also working to de-extinct the woolly mammoth. And they say that they've used gene editing to create these animals. But are they really dire wolves? Not exactly. They did use actual dire wolf DNA in their project. They extracted and analyzed genetic material from two ancient dire wolf specimens, a 13,000 year old tooth found in Ohio, and a 72,000 year old ear bone from Idaho. And they were able to analyze the genome and identify key genetic differences between dire wolves and modern gray wolves. And using that information, they employed gene editing technology to modify gray wolf DNA and incorporate specific dire wolf traits. And these changes affected things like the shape of the skull, the body size, the muscles, coat color, jaw strength, howling and vocal patterns. The edited DNA was then used to create embryos which were implanted into surrogate domestic dogs resulting in the birth of the three pups Romulus, Remus and Khaleesi who all exhibit characteristics and behaviors of the extinct dire wolf. So that means they're genetically modified grey wolves with some traits similar to dire wolves. They weren't cloned from actual dire wolf DNA and they're not 100% genetically identical to this extinct species. But thanks to their targeted gene edits, they look and act a lot like what scientists believe dire wolves once were. But that being said, they're probably still the closest thing we'll ever get to a dire wolf and that makes it very interesting. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Does this count as actually bringing back a prehistoric extinct animal or is this just messing around and meddling with DNA? And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing for more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.